Hey guys, Youth Pastor Albert here. I'm here with my 123rd prayer from my book, 365 Days of Prayer for Teens. And I'm here with January 15th's prayer, and it's called Accepting Others. I want to make sure you guys have enough prayers, at least through the next week of school. Make sure you guys have everything you need, and I'm going to try to have these uh, posted um, about, you know, at least a few days in advance. If I can get the whole week, that's great. Um, I'm going to try to post them as much as I can for you. All right, the scripture reference is Romans 15, 7, NCV. It says, As it is in your heart, let it be in mine. Christ accepted you, so you should accept each other, which will bring glory to God. Romans 15, 7, NCV. Here's the prayer, if you guys want to pray it with me or hear me pray it for you out loud. It says, Father God, you have accepted me, flawed and unworthy, as your child. Not only have you accepted me, but you have also chosen to love me with your perfect love. Help me to accept others in that same way and do so with the heart of love. I confess that I struggle with this more than I'd like to admit. In my pride, I judge others. I look down upon people who have different sin struggles than my own. I need you to work in me. It is so easy to get comfortable with loving and accepting the people already in my life. Yet in doing so, I miss out on opportunities to show your love to others by simply accepting them because you created them. You beautifully designed every human in your image, and I pray that alone, that alone would be reason enough for me to love someone regardless of anything else. Take away my pride that blinds me from seeing opportunities to display your love. Humble me. Make me more like you. So here's the question. It says, is there someone in your life you have been struggling to accept? All right. So we think about that word acceptance. You know, it doesn't mean that we have to, you know, accept the person's sin in the sense that if they're sinning where we condone it, you know, and tell them that it's okay you know, and believe that it's right to sin and stuff like that and try to justify it in our mind or with our words or actions. God doesn't want us to accept sin, but he wants us to accept people. Um, the Bible talks about, or not the Bible, but people like to say this phrase all the time, you know, love the sinner, hate the sin. Um, and uh, that's a phrase that I kind of like to live by. It kind of makes sense. Um, you know, I think uh, the Dalai Lama maybe have said it. Um, but you know, it, it has truth to it and knowing that, that God wants us to love others, um, in spite of their sin. So thinking about this, let's think about accepting others and I'm praying for you. Bye-bye.